That concludes our elected officials and tribal representatives signed up to speak. Okay, and forgive me if I missed it, but <clears throat> I, you indicated earlier that Lynn Compton was- I, I'm here. Are you unmuted? I'm unmuted. Is that, is that on behalf of an elected official? I am the elected official. Forgive me. Please That's okay. <laughs> I was switching. We had a LAFCO meeting going on, so I'm just trying. I had Caleb as my stand-in, my ledge aide, but I, I'm here. I'm sorry. We were we were confused if you were speaking on behalf of your office or on behalf of yourself. So I'm sorry for the confusion. Um. Well, I represent this office, so I'm I'll, I'm speaking on behalf of my constituents in Oceano, basically. All right. So. All right. Welcome. Please proceed. Thank you, thank you. So good morning, Chair Padilla and commissioners. My name is Lynn Compton. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you today. I am the fourth district supervisor and almost the entirety of this park is in my district, not any other supervisorial district. It's my hope today that you consider all of the circumstances regarding this park in order to make an informed decision. I'm disappointed there's no other representation today by the Coastal Commission that specifically represents this area, as it takes the decision away, in my opinion, from being a local one with a local, local official that represents the commission, such as we had with Eric Howell in the past. Nonetheless, it's my objective to convey to you that any decision you make will have a very significant impact on our citizens and my constituents. There are significant economic and environmental impacts that will be occurring pending your decision. Our entire county is in a very precarious position at this point. On the one year anniversary of our first COVID-19 case, and for the past year, we've seen huge human and economic toll. And for our community, this has severely affected us. From an economic perspective with the pending closure of Diablo Canyon, our second largest employer, and the closure of the Phillips 66 plant, which is also in my district, and the hit to our local tourism industry, we've been very negatively impacted. Some of those negative impacts won't dissipate, others will. Your decision today will likely significantly impact our financial situation in one way or another, specifically my district. Another point I'd like to make for clarification is in your staff report, your report refers to the Oceano Advisory Committee on four separate occasions. I wish to clarify this committee to you. They do not speak for me, nor do I believe they speak for most Oceano residents. This is not a publicly elected committee and the current members choose new members to be on the committee, such as friends if a spot becomes vacant. This is not elected by any voice of the community nor appointed by myself or my office. Additionally, most of the members on that committee are the same members that are on the recently formed Oceano Beach Community Association. Thank you very and their much. main objective is with current membership to close the dunes. Thank so please, much. after representing this area for six years, take all of these facts into consideration and, and make a comment. Supervisor, thank you very thank much. You. 